Um, today we're doing some techniques of how to grill at home. Um, we have a beautiful piece of uh, pork tenderloin from our friend from Sugar Hills Farm. It's being marinated in some herbs, garlic, white wine. Uh, we're going to finish them up with some uh, extra spices. Uh, here's a dry rub or dry marinade uh, consisting of paprika, sugar, salt and pepper. Okay. We're going to cook this at the grill. So we're going to start direct heat, heat, cooking at direct heat. Uh, piece of tendon like this, it will cook in within six to nine minutes. So we're going to leave that alone. Uh, let it cook and caramelize. What we're going to be doing, I like to serve pork with uh, compound butter. Compound butter is soft butter that is being incorporated with herbs uh, in season. This time I have uh, chervil and soft butter, unsalted butter, uh, and we're going to grind. You want to make sure that the herbs are well combined and grind into the butter. Uh, You want to make sure you don't move your meat too much in the grill. You want to make sure it has enough caramelization. Grill marks are the sign of how well it's caramelizing to each side. So you want to make sure that you turn them as each side gets caramelized. So as you can see, uh, compound butter is well mixed. Some people put salt into it, some others don't. I prefer not to put any. You know, your meat should be seasoned enough. Along with the pork tenderloin, we would do some uh, peaches. Uh, peaches right now are in season. We're gonna take the peat off. go around the seed and remove it carefully with a prairie knife. Cut them in quarters. Some extra virgin olive oil. Some salt. We're gonna grill it. You really, really don't want to put it too close to the fire. So Again, we're talking about indirect heat, direct heat. So right now our pork tenderloin is in direct heat. Our peaches are in direct heat. Uh, that's gonna allow to cook as they need to cook. Remember, this bigger piece of meat is gonna require more heat than a piece of peach is, is gonna take less, uh, require, it will require less uh, heat to cook. So now it, the pork tenderloin has been cooking for at least 10 minutes. We're going to let them rest. We're going to move it to that part that we don't have any charcoal to allow it to rest. Uh, resting is the most important part when we're doing grilling. Uh, you want to make sure that all your juices stay inside and that way all the flavors of the meat. Also the marination is still inside once you cut them. Peaches are almost done. Pork tenderloin has been resting for at least five minutes now. I want to flash them back into the hot or direct heat. All sizes. I want to bring it to the cutting board. Um, Slicing a pork tenderloin is very similar to a beef tenderloin. Either you can go straight down or you can go in an angle. 
I like to cut them in an angle just for the presentation. So if you have friends that invite her at home, you can impress them with a the presentation. place our pork tenderloin in a plate. Pork tenderloin can be eaten medium, highly recommended medium, medium well. You're going to place some of the compound butter right in the middle. Now we start melting all to the pork. Now we're going to place the peaches that are being grilled right on top of the butter. Like so. And we're going to garnish it with some parsley, fresh parsley. Grilled pork tenderloin, grilled peaches, Cheryl compound butter.